I'm gonna try and do a oh, a pregnancy vlog here while I'm driving. Um, I am nine weeks. I think nine weeks and four days right now. Um, this is my first pregnancy vlog for this pregnancy anyway. This is baby number four. Obviously a huge surprise. Um, Adelia is only five months old and I'm already a good chunk through my first trimester. So, <laughs> Obviously a surprise. They say birth control isn't 100%. It isn't. <laughs> um, yeah, we're surprised, shocked, wasn't planning this right now, but feeling very blessed and still very happy <clears throat> once the shock wore off a little bit. I had a doctor's appointment two weeks ago, actually two weeks ago today, so I was 7'4", and they did an ultrasound, everything looked good. Um, baby had a heart rate of 150 beats per minute and was chill as Brian was in every ultrasound I ever have him. So I'm hoping that my first ultrasound with each child is an indication of what that child will be like because every ultrasound I ever had done with Brian, he was so relaxed and so mellow, barely moving. You know, he had to check his heart just to make sure he was alive in there. And he is such a mellow laid back kid. Wyatt, I had an ultrasound done in around seven weeks of him, and he was like a little Mexican jumping bean. I mean, he just ting, 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 ting. He was all over the place. They had trouble getting a heart rate on him because he wouldn't stop moving. And that is very much how Wyatt is now. He's very high energy, constantly on the move, hard to keep occupied. <laughs> He's been that way since conception, apparently. Um, Adelia's first ultrasound, I think she was right around nine, or, yeah, probably about what I am now, so probably about nine and a half weeks when I had my first ultrasound with her, and she was a little more mellow, she wasn't bouncing around, but you could see, before we even saw that she had a heartbeat, you could see her little arms and legs just going like this, so I, you know, we had trouble finding her heart, but I could see her moving, so I knew she was okay before we got the confirmation that she was okay. Just the way she was moving her legs and, and arms and legs and so much, it was obviously, you know, she was fine. And then we did find her heart rate and she, obviously she's fine. She's five months old now. And this baby, like I said, completely mellow, doing nothing but hanging out and taking a nap. Had a great heartbeat though. So... My hope is that's an indication like it has been with all the other kids because Brian is calm, Wyatt is very wild, Adelia is very mellow, but she's constantly moving her arms and legs. She'll just sit there and just kick and wave and wiggle, even now. <laughs> so I'm hoping this baby is very laid back, I'm hoping this baby sleeps. Brian and Adelia are great sleepers. They have been right from the get-go, you know, no more than the normal newborn waking type stuff. Wyatt has been a crappy sleeper since birth and continues to be, at age three, a crappy sleeper. There's just no getting around it with him. He was up last night, like, he doesn't want to go to bed till 10 o'clock at night. Everybody else is in bed at nine. So you're laying there in bed listening to him talk to himself. And then, of course, he decides he wants something to drink. And he wants a different blanket. And yeah. So I'm hoping this baby sleeps way better than Wyatt does. I don't know if I can handle another Wyatt sleeper. I keep praying that Wyatt will get better, but he hasn't so far. <coughs> um, symptoms wise, morning sickness comes and goes. I'm obviously having a bad day. I've got my bands on. Um, they're C bands. They literally say C band on them. They're acupressure bands that most people use for things like morning, or not morning sickness, motion sickness, but can be used for morning sickness. I use them for surgery. Um, first time they ever offered them to me was for Adelia's C-section because I have such a bad reaction to anesthesia and I end up 
puking my guts out every single time. That's actually why I chose not to go under when I had my wisdom teeth pulled because I knew I would get sick. And Novocaine doesn't make me sick, so. Anyway, they put these on, obviously not these, they have like, they're the same little balls. I don't know if you can see that. Same little balls, but they're like a clear tape that they just kind of tape them to your wrist. And they put those on me before sending me into the operating room. And I didn't get sick with her. I had like one little bout of tiny bit of nausea. And that was it. Otherwise, I didn't get sick. I didn't throw up. I felt fine. If it weren't for the magnesium that they were pumping in me to try and get my blood pressure to go down, I probably never would have puked. But that's a whole other story. Magnesium is... Oh, that's just devil spit. Anyway. <laughs> They worked well for that. Um, when I had my hernia surgery, I didn't think to tell them to put them on me before the surgery. I waited until after when I was so, 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 so sick and the nurse recommended it and it, you know, the light bulb went off. And, oh yeah, those work wonderfully for me. So she went and got a couple and put them on and 20 minutes later, I felt fine. I was up, I was walking, I was using the bathroom, I was asking to go home, and they were like, sure, if you feel good, go home. So, they work, and they work well for me. Um, it usually takes about 20 minutes for me for them to kick in, and then I'm fine. Um, most of the time, they cover the morning sickness that I have. Most of my morning sickness is at night. It's very rare that I'm sick like this during the day. But if it gets too bad at night and these aren't working, um, I've been taking Unisom. Something my doctor rec excuse me, recommended to me back when I was pregnant with Wyatt. And Unisom completely knocks the morning sickness out for me and it puts me to sleep for the night. So I'm not only feel better, but I'm actually getting a decent night's sleep. Which can be hard to come by when you have morning sickness and you don't feel so that's working well the morning sickness isn't too horrific too often it's kind of bad today but um, I've been tired but it's hard to know what is pregnancy tired and what is why it sleeps crappy and I get up every night once at night to feed Adelia you know it's hard to know what's I'm tired because I have small children to care for, and what is, I'm tired because I'm pregnant. It's hard to know the difference, and I don't think it matters either way, I'm tired. <laughs> the only sucky thing is I don't get the chance to rest the way I did with Wyatt, because, you know, with Wyatt, Brian would go off to school, I could just take a nap, and I, I don't have that option. I didn't have that option with Adelia either, but it's harder now because I have Wyatt, who's three, and Adelia, who's five months old. And, you know, that's a little more demanding. Thankfully, Brian is home from school on summer break, so when he gets up in the morning, I will give him the kids for a little bit and try to lay down and take a nap if at all possible. Thing is, Adelia's a pretty big mama's girl and doesn't really like having to uh, be away from me and sit with her brother instead. So that doesn't always work so well. And if I can hear her fussing out there, I can't, I can't sleep. So I end up having to get up anyway. Um, I'm trying to think. There's really not much else. My hair is still falling out postpartum, but it's starting to get better. I was hoping that maybe getting pregnant again would stop the hair loss, but it hasn't. It's finally starting to slow down, and I'm starting to get the little baby hairs back on the sides. Um, yeah, pregnancy really hasn't affected that any. I don't really have too much. I have carpal tunnel in my right hand really bad, and I had it bad in both hands with Wyatt. And they offered me cortisone shots, but I was afraid of the needles in my wrist. That sounded horrible to me, and I didn't want to do it. And so I put it off. However, I was, you know, late third trimester when this happened with Wyatt, so all I had to do was hang in there for a couple of weeks and wear the braces and everything, and I made it through fine. Once he was born, the carpal tunnel went away. The difference now is it's the first trimester. I'm only nine weeks, and I'm miserable. And thankfully, it's only the right wrist. It's only one. 
but I'm already so miserable. I, I wake up and my hands are completely numb, which is difficult because I get up at 2, 3 in the morning to feed Adelia. I have to be able to pick her up and change her diaper and hold the bottle, and you know, it's hard to do that when your hand is numb. I can't close my fingers. It, I mean, it takes a good hour after I get up to be able to close my fingers completely, and um, just even like right now, just doing this hurts. I can feel the pain going through here and down to my wrist. So just basic stuff hurts. You know, the wrist guards aren't doing any good. I can't wear them if I'm sick and have to wear these. And Tylenol helps a little bit, but I don't want to take Tylenol every day if I don't have to. Normally my Amber works and helps. And this does help with my knee still. I don't, I have very few problems. I mean, the weather's got to be really bad for my knee to hurt. This is doing not, actually, I am afraid to f take this off and find out how my hand and wrist feels without the amber. Because that, mm, this is how it feels with the amber. I'm, I'm scared to find out how bad it feels otherwise. Um, so I may have to just give in and get the cortisone shots done in that wrist. I'm going to bring it up with my doctor on, uh, what, three weeks, three, four weeks, whenever my next appointment is. I'll bring it up then and we'll see if there's anything else we can do otherwise. Just do the shots because I, I can't do this for six more months. <laughs> it's not, not going to go well. It's hard to drive even. Just driving my hand will go numb. And you know, I'm, I'm right handed. I do everything with my right hand so I can't not have that hand. But I don't know. I, that's pretty much... I feel good. I feel... You know, with the exception of being occasionally tired and the occasional morning sickness, I have days where I feel 100%. I feel good. I'm not tired. I'm not nauseous. I don't feel pregnant at all, which can be a little scary from time to time. But then I try to remind myself that I didn't feel pregnant at all with Brian the entire pregnancy. So maybe I'm just lucky and it's going to be another pregnancy like that where it's just easy and mellow and I don't have to kick, scream, puke, fight, <sighs> beg, plead to get my way through it, because <laughs> Adelia's pregnancy was miserable, and I felt like hell the whole time, so. Cravings-wise, you know, I haven't had too much. I've had the occasional, like, orange juice, potato salad again, mashed potatoes. I had to stop at KFC the other day and get mashed potatoes. We bought potato salad at Costco, and I very quickly realized this was obviously not Midwestern potato salad, and I had to add my own mustard to it just to be able to eat it. So, but other than that, I just I don't, I don't know. I don't feel all that pregnant. I feel the need to pee on sticks constantly to make sure that you know I am not just dreaming. <laughs> you know, and seeing that ultrasound, it was like, okay, well there is in fact a baby in there because I don't feel that bad. I'm just used to feeling bad, so. But today, I definitely feel pregnant. I'm very tired, and I'm very nauseous, and there is no mistaking that there is a little tiny baby growing in there, so. Three more weeks, we have our first trimester screening, and genetics counselor and all that kind of stuff. Done it a million times. Really excited to see the baby. Pray that everything is okay, and, uh, I'll have some new pictures then. I'll try to put some pictures in now of the ultrasound and stuff that we had two weeks ago. I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, like it, love it, share it, whatever you like. <laughs> and I will be back with more incredibly shocking pregnancy vlogs. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.